Despite having a relatively modest number of movies and TV credits on her CV, Alicia Debnam Carey has already appeared in an intriguing mix of projects. She is best known for her work in notable productions like The Hundred and Fear the Walking Dead. She has also appeared in a number of feature films, including Into the Storm. While she has begun to achieve widespread recognition, few people know how talented she is. Here are 10 of the most interesting things you probably didn't know about Alicia Debnam Carey. She's Australian. Fans who have only heard Debnam Carey speak in an American accent may be surprised to know the actress is from Sydney, Australia. Before she moved to the United States, she guest starred on several Australian TV series, including McLeod's Daughters and Dance Academy. She started acting as a child. Debnam Carey always wanted to be an actress. By the age of eight, she has been developing her skills while living in Sydney, Australia. When she was 10, she landed her first role in a film called Martha's New Coat. This role won her the attention she needed to land small gigs on Australian shows like McLeod's Daughters, TV movies such as Dream Life, and short film called Jigsaw Girl. Her mother is also in the entertainment industry. While she is obviously a natural performer, her affinity with the entertainment industry may have been inherited from her mother. Her mother is Leone Carey, a distinguished television writer. She has written notable works like Do or Die and Home and Away. Given the stresses that one can face as an actor, it is likely a great advantage for Debnam Carey to have a mother who understands her line of work. She could have been a musician. Although best known for her incredible acting abilities, Debnam Carey also has considerable musical ability. In fact, music was once her focus. For a whopping 10 years, she trained as a percussionist and joined 39 other young musicians at a two-week music creation program with the Berlin Philharmonic. She almost went to Sydney Conservatorium of Music, but luckily for fans, she decided to pursue acting. She was featured in a documentary. Although she has acted since her youth, Debnam Carey debuted in Hollywood years later, which was chronicled in the fittingly titled Australian documentary series Next Stop Hollywood. Appeared on the show alongside other aspiring Aussie performers like Penelope Mitchell, she was close to nabbing the title role in the CW's The Carey Diaries before she lost out to another actress. She still got a role in horror film The Devil's Hand while filming the series, which also starred Jennifer Carpenter and Cole Meany. Her big break in Hollywood was in The Hundred. Her first major breakthrough was as a guest star on the CW sci-fi show The Hundred. She played Lexa on the series The Leader of the Grounder Clan. Lexa became a fan favorite quickly, with LGBTQ viewers growing attached to the romance between her and main character Clark. She was being written as main character in the third season. But, after a total of 16 episodes, her character was killed off. Her character on The Hundred is at the center of a controversy. When Lexa was killed shortly after she had sex with Clark for the first time, many viewers thought that the plot twist was homophobic, citing numerous other TV series that killed off lesbian characters. The show's producers insist that they killed off Lexa only because Debnam Carey's Fear the Walking Dead filming schedule prevented her from continuing to work on The Hundred. She's played an apocalypse survivor in three different projects. In addition to her roles on Fear the Walking Dead and The Hundred, Debnam Carey starred in the 2014 AMC pilot, Galantine, which was set in a post-apocalyptic future after a technology-related disaster killed much of the world's population. She played a member of a band of survivors who struggled to adapt to life without technology. Though the network did not pick up the series, Debnam Carey must have been a convincing apocalypse survivor, since AMC cast her in Fear the Walking Dead. She binge-watched The Walking Dead. When she was cast on Fear the Walking Dead, she had never watched the original series. She promptly rectified that situation. When she was a guest on Jimmy Kimmel Live, Debnam Carey explained, I thought it was a great excuse to binge-watch three weeks of amazing TV. So, I did, and then I just fell in love with it. I had to actually stop myself because I started getting like, not confused, but the worlds were colliding a little bit. It was kind of informing many of my acting choices personal life. Rumor has it that Debnam Carey once dated Marcus Castres. They broke up after he was found to be cheating on her. To avoid too much drama, she has kept her private life or affair. She never talks about her relationships, and a few can tell if she is seeing someone currently, 